It is quarter past seven. I'm not quite sure why I've got so much energy for seven o'clock in the morning. Bearing in mind I haven't really been waking up this early lately. So I thought today I'm gonna to film a video of me waking up, being productive, because I feel like it's so important in lockdown to get a routine in. So I've been going climbing with my friends, which I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen all the <laughs> like outtakes of me climbing. I'm kind of gutted that I can't climb anymore, but I'm hoping to do some exercises today where when I do go back climbing, hopefully it'll benefit me. So I just want to get a bit of exercise in today, do a bit of a workout. I don't know why I'm doing this with my legs, apologies. doing my workout so I was there going can't breathe and I realized because the radiator right next to me is on and the window wasn't open so the window's open that's off yeah I've got my polar watch on and I've got my heart rate monitor on which I don't know if you can see there um I look horrendous I feel like I just look really tired but it's probably because I am really tired the arm workout isn't going to be as long because if you didn't already know I've got a metal arm in this arm except it's not a metal arm when I say metal arm, it sounds like I've got like my whole arm metal, but it's not. It's literally just I've got a few plates in my arm and like 21 screws, which I'm sure all my friends will be glad to hear me say that because I don't shut up about it when I go climbing. I just use it as an excuse not to be able to climb. I can't climb things. I'm like, yeah, I just my arm just hurts. yoga now it's quarter past eight so this will take me to about roughly just gone half past and then i'm gonna grab a quick snack and then be ready for my 9 a.m oh, i just feel so much better for getting up and it's literally half eight and i've already done two little workouts and some yoga. I've got a lecture at nine, so I'm just gonna go grab a coffee and a couple of snacks. And then I'm going to do my lecture at nine, and then after my lecture, I'm gonna grab some breakfast. But anyway, let's go get some breakfast. Okay, so it's quarter to nine, I've grabbed a snack, and I've got my coffee, which you just saw. I'm on with mathematical biology today, so that is my one of the modules I'm taking this semester. It's quite a stats-based module, so I, I am enjoying it. Fortunately, this year for my course, I don't. I'm not in university at all. I know some people that are, but for my course, I'm not in university one bit. So I haven't stepped foot on campus more than maybe three times this this year. Now I'm going to write a to-do list, and then I'm also going to show you the lecture when it gets to nine, and I'm also going to eat because I need to eat something. <laughs> That lecture was alright to be honest. It was very statsy, so I found it quite nice just because I like stats. But it finished early, which meant I could make some breakfast. And now I've got an hour's gap between my next lecture, so I'm thinking of just kind of doing a few kind of little bits that I've got to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is my code of the future. So if you've seen the other video I made on my channel, which was like a project reveal, I've been working really hard on a project called Code of the Future and essentially it just teaches people how to code through a series of YouTube videos and it also kind of educates people on technology today. So I follow a certain pattern with my Code of the Future, so Mondays is Must Read Monday, so that's either an article or quite a motivational quote and then Wednesdays are Watch and Learn Wednesdays, so Wednesdays is when I release my tutorials on my YouTube channel and then Fridays are Fact Fridays, so that's just kind of a nice little fact. You don't have to have a really good coding or technology background to understand the facts, so I'm kind of making it easy to access for everybody and the tutorials all of which on my youtube channel if you start from the very first video i release then you can literally teach yourself how to code today is monday and it is must read monday i'm going to do a motivational quote um, so i'm just going to have a look around and see which motivational quote i fancy taking and which i fancy posting so i'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of googling I 
fan of quote and then straight away I was like I want to I want to include that just because it's a really nice quote and the quote is by Dr John Mader and he says simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful which I thought was just a really nice really nice quote and I've published that across all my platforms so this is if you haven't already followed Code of the Future on any kind of platform or anything this is kind of what to expect so this is my Code of the Future here and as it says it's a platform to encourage and educate individuals interested in pursuing a career in technology and this is kind of the basic setup so these are kind of the tutorials that I've done so you know you click on one and it'll tell you like hey what is Python the same for all these other ones so these are kind of setups and then you kind of get into the midst of things here and essentially what all these on this right hand side are all the kind of projects the tutorials that I've done and then in the middle here we have Fact Friday so here this is telling you about the first ever computer game that was built and then on the left hand side we have must read Mondays so here this one this was an article uh, that I'd written and it's actually about me so it was about my internship that I did this summer because uh, obviously I use a lot of technology over summer so I thought it'd be appropriate to kind of include it and you know this is screen grabs from the actual article which you can find on my website we have like this whole article here yeah so this is kind of the setup for my code of the future really someone has commented on one of my youtube videos oh someone said this has actually made me want to come to leeds even more yes <laughs> the other thing that i need to do today is deloitte stuff so i am a campus ambassador this year for deloitte which means i am responsible for promoting all of deloitte's events helping people kind of find the right jobs within deloitte for the university of leeds and i'm the only only person at the university of leeds who does it so yeah campus ambassador for deloitte which has been it's been really kind of quite interesting just being able to promote events that i think will really benefit people and also just looking at the job roles and stuff and obviously deloitte are the top big four accountancy firm so I'm, i want to make sure that i do it right so a part of my like promoting is just telling people what events are upcoming kind of you know what events have we got at the moment but today i just want to kind of put on my social media you know this is what's coming up on at delight this week um, and hopefully there'll be some kind of skill sessions and stuff so right now i'm gonna get all the posts ready to post across all my social media to say this is what delight has to offer you know this is what's going on this week just so people know that if they want to kind of join into any of these sessions they can do and that's kind of what's what's coming up this week but right now i'm going to do my job of guiding people in the right direction and post across all my social media so i'm going to do a bit of work now to try to find out what exactly Deloitte have got upcoming this week and and then tell everybody about it that's Deloitte done I'm cutting it short for time because my lecture is in literally two minutes I'm happy I've got my code of the future and Deloitte stuff done so now it's time for fluid dynamics 2 what I can do there is uh, if I want to keep both terms to have a 1 plus epsilon epsilon dimensional flow that is to say to keep the, the, the fluid dynamics has just finished I absolutely love fluid dynamics I'm not gonna lie I it's just a module this year that I've just love and I loved it last year so really happy with the module and also we just kind of went through an example sheet and the stuff that I was really struggling with he explained really well so now I kind of understand it so I'm I'm less stressed than I was. But Victoria's almost here so we're gonna go for a walk so cue some nice scenery and nice walking material material nice nice walking videos. We're on a walk aren't we Victoria? <laughs> I'm back from a walk. We still have the Halloween decorations up because I can't bother to take them down and also it adds a little bit of festivity. Also I feel like it's probably bad luck if you keep them up but also who cares. So I'm going to make some lunch. It's one o'clock but luckily I have pre-made my lunch. Um, it looks a little bit gross but I promise you it's not. It's um, a boat. Mm, there's a little bean there. Um, it's like a tortilla boat thing and I've put tomatoes and then I've also put some chilli so some it's like a bean chilli with kidney beans and cannellini beans I think it was so a chilli and then I've also roasted some butternut squash and sweet potatoes on top which you can see there oh, I just ran up the stairs but didn't quite run because I had a coffee in my hand and my knees oh I have got my coffee it's not focusing but I think you can kind of figure out who that is and then yesterday I made some shortbread which are in some very interesting kind of pieces I couldn't be bothered to make them like nice and square so I just kind of did what I could with them the best 
with the opera operators, apparatus I had, is that the word? With the equipment I had. So there are two things that I need to do and one of them is I need to watch some lectures for analytic solutions of partial differential equations. So that's a module I'm taking this semester. And the videos that I need to watch on a chapter that I, from my friends, have said it's a very hard chapter. So that's great. So I need to watch those videos, but I don't need to watch them until like next week because in this week we're going through chapter four kind of thing and then the exercises on chapter four will be released next Tuesday. So I do have a whole week to watch them, but I kind of want to get a few of them just under my belt so I don't have like loads and loads to watch before next week. So I want to get I want to get a couple of them done today and then I also need to do a bit of project work. So a little side note, not that anyone really probably cares. So if you're in your final year, you have to do a project. So this year we got divided into groups. I didn't get my first choice, which was slightly disappointing. I think now I'm actually happier with the my second choice, which is what I got. And my project description is using random numbers to solve problems in physics and maths. So it's got physics in there, it's got maths in there. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's very stats related at the moment, but I'm really fortunate because I've got a really, really good group. I am the only girl in the group, but the boys are, are all really good. We've, I feel like we've, I'm really happy with the group that I've got. The idea is that you'll do group work, you'll do a 5% presentation, then you have to do a report on it. So it's kind of like a 25 page report, essay type thing on a specific area of the project you're doing. So for the using random numbers to solve problems in maths and physics, you could, in the maths route good on finance but i don't really enjoy the finance side of maths i enjoy more like astrophysics applied maths fluid dynamics so there is an opportunity hopefully i spoke to the supervisor at the start of the year and hopefully there's a chance to do simulating galaxy cluster formations which sounds pretty cool i'm really hoping i'll be able to kind of do that or at least do something physicsy but yeah that's a little bit of a side note about what the project is what it's about we've got a meeting on wednesday with with my group and then we've got a present on friday so i just want to get a bit of the stuff i've done most of it but i want to get it written up in a latex document just so then i can kind of refer back to it when i when i need to so i want to do a bit of project work i'm going to start by watching the pde start by watching some of those lectures and then because it's only like it's going to be two o'clock by the time i start but yeah i'm going to start by doing these i'm going to have my coffee and eat my shortbread while i do so and yeah i'll do some time lapsing and record a little bit of what pde is about write down a theorem about the function to have satisfied this, this mean value property, um, which is really quite amazing. Uh, I never, it never ceases to amaze me. I'm using my mug as a tripod. I sounded so robotic then, I don't know. My brain's not working. Um, I'm using my mug as a tripod again, so, I mean, I could just use that one there, but I just, I'm lazy. This is the work that I've just done. I'll show you how much I've done today. So we're starting on this page, and these are all the lecture notes. I do have quite large handwriting, and I also quite like to have spaces between, like, theorems and, diagrams and stuff just because it's if it's maths you kind of need to have it clear so yeah that's that's six lectures worth of content um and that's not even half of the chapter there are a couple things extra that i want to get done so i want to get a bit of project work done and edit a holiday video okay i've imported all the videos from the holiday so I need to edit that tonight, otherwise my friends may actually kill me because I haven't, still haven't done it. And we went on holiday ages ago, like two months ago. What we're kind of using, oh, that's slightly wobbly. Probably should use a tripod. Whoa, am I like tilting or am I just going dizzy? So what we're doing at the moment is we're using Monte Carlo methods and it's kind of, you know, showing how Monte Carlo methods are better when it comes to higher dimensional problems. So I've typed up kind of 
half of what I want to get typed up. This is kind of what we did last time. So I'm just refreshing my memory ready for, for the next meeting that I've got on Wednesday. So I've got a meeting on Wednesday with my group. Then I've got a present on Friday, which I think I've already said. So I just want to kind of get most of it written up now and then it's kind of out of the way because I don't want to leave it and then it comes to me writing my report and I have no idea what to talk about because it's all long and gone. So I'm trying to keep it all on this one document. Um, so I've got six pages so far, uh, which I think is pretty good quite a lot of content already and we've only had two meetings um i'm gonna do this for another hour i will time lapse it and then in an hour i will start doing some editing so i'm gonna crack on and do a bit of this now and then i'll start editing I've done a lot, but like I've done a lot of like different different things. So I feel like it's been a really productive day, even though I don't know what it's gonna look like back on the camera. So I'm hoping it'll look productive. I have just finished kind of what I wanted to get done on my project. So it is eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. Um, and I'm gonna edit this video, but I've decided that I'm gonna kind of finish the whole vlog thing now and then kind of finish on some time lapses of, of me editing the video. I'm gonna get a quick shower and get into bed and, and edit this uh, and then <sighs> go to bed. <laughs> I'm pretty tired anyway, so I think going to bed is probably the best option. I'm hoping to kind of do a few more videos on my channel. I realize I've been slightly quiet over the past few weeks. It's purely been because uni has been quite stressful. At the moment, I've been seeing like all the lovely comments people have been leaving and you know, the more subscribers I'm getting, the more I wanna give content out and deliver content. If there's any videos you want to see on my channel then just comment them down below. But for now that is the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did then please like, subscribe and comment and also check out my Code of the Future channel. That is where I'm teaching people how to code so check that out if you're interested as well. But that is the video. I'm gonna get a shower and start editing.